right, as you can see, uh, we're getting this thing together. I'm going to get most of the interior back together, not all of it. I'm not putting this cardboard piece back in that goes behind the, the seats. I don't, it, it's just, it doesn't look good. It looks cheesy. I know that's the way it came from the factory, but that's not the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and get this other side speaker in. It's really not much to them. There's a couple tabs on this plate. Now, if you remember, I painted this plate a long time ago, metallic black. If you can see the metallic in it. Um, I just had to clean them up because they were pretty dusty. One tab up here, so I put self tap run through there. And then there's a bigger tab down here in the bottom, so I put two down through the bottom. I use these bigger self tappers. They just, they grip better. Um, and then I use more self tappers to hold the speaker in. So that's how I'm gonna do the other side. I need to go get some more of these ones because I don't have any more unless they're up here. Oh, I do. But that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna throw the other side in and then the carpet I need to put in and clean. I just wanted to get these speakers in first, but after we get the carpet in, the seat belts I still need to paint. Although the ones that go back behind the seats, Unfortunately, these ones, there's no use in painting these things. I think what I'm going to do is remove the plastic cover off this, just cut them off, and they're just going to be blue seat belts in there because, yeah, I just I feel like that's the better option. Um, and then the ones that go by the, the towers, I don't even know. What is that? Oh, that's more hardware for the truck. <laughs> these ones, these big ones. These ones, I'm going to paint these covers. Um, might do the flocking on them as well. Uh, but we're not going to throw those in right now. We're just going to throw the middle ones in so that they are in there. Tell me this, this song doesn't go hard from back in the day. All right, next on the list of interior things, uh, visors. Um, I ordered some cheap ones. I think they were eBay or Am uh, it might have been Amazon. I don't know. They're listed for a Jeep. They're leather. They're black. Nothing fancy, but there's nothing in here. And it would almost, it might even fit the stock holes here I mean there's gonna be a gap or I could put it right there um, but it's not looking like not it's looking like it's gonna work better if I have it out here anything's better than nothing right I'm gonna figure this out get these on here and then uh, we'll go from there Down here maybe here here I don't know
Now those actually don't look too out of place in here. They don't look too bad. Oh, this one clipped out. I I had to make these clips work. Kind of pops out when you put it down, but yeah, it stays in. These are Porsche clips, and they ended up being too small in here, so I had to ream the inside of that out so that the end of these would fit in it. But uh, I think it works out pretty good. It does. Yeah, not too bad. And they stay, they're not floppy, which is what I didn't want. I didn't want them to be all flopping around and stuff. Yeah, not too bad. Oh yeah, I forgot to add right after I, I buttoned the dash up on the last episode. I was like, oh, here's that backup camera I wanted to put in. So I had to <laughs> put it into the stereo, so I had to take the dash completely back off again. I ran the, the reverse camera. It's not wired in the back yet, but it's in, it's hooked up. So all the wires are there, which, so don't have to worry about that now. Um, I think it's time to throw the carpet. Now the carpet needs cleaned, like seriously cleaned. Uh, I had it in here when I was doing a bunch of body work and stuff. It's dusty. So I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to vacuum it all. So it's all clean. And then, um, the seat, that seat is heavy. It's very heavy. I don't know. Who engineered that? Who put that seat together? But they could have did a better job at making, maybe saving some weight. Maybe it was me. I should add, that's a nice little touch I did right there with that Raptor liner. You can kind of see what's going on. And then even back here, you can kind of see through here. And it's Raptor line back there, and you can see it. That side, it doesn't really show as much. But, yeah, it's looking really good. So let me clean all of this out of here. We'll get the carpet laid in, vacuum it, and see what it looks like in here. I'm excited for the carpet. Oh, behave. Wiring, I got one wire here. This this one that goes to the seat belt. And I, I honestly, I don't know what it is, but it's, I don't think this thing even has a, a notification to let you know that you need to put your seat belt on, but it might. And then that's probably why that's supposed to be in there. Oh, I can put the middle seat belts in too. I'm gonna cut the covers off of them and then bolt them in after we get the carpet in. So, yeah, getting it together tonight. I wanna get the seats in here. I wanna see what it looks like. So it's looking a lot more comfortable in here, I can say. One thing is seat belt mounts and the seat mount holes are not cut out. Now, they did put like a perforation in there, but I'm finding that the holes are not quite lined up with, well, that one might be. Yeah, it might be close. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find each hole and I'm gonna just cut a little triangle out. Or actually, what I'm going to do is just cut a flap. I'm not going to cut it completely. Cut a flap so we can fold it up. Carpet needs to be in here for a while till it really takes shape. But it's it's nice. It's very nice. And it's, it's already padded underneath. And with the Raptor liner and everything. Now, we did have, like, extra up here. And what I did was, like folded it up and I had to take the speakers out because of the way I had them um, the carpet goes like underneath them so to put the carpet underneath and then flap folded it up across the back there and uh, yeah it's a little bunched up once you get the seat in 
and this pulls down I don't think it's gonna be as bad but this is just the space behind the seat so it's really not gonna be bad at all I'm excited like I, did, I can actually see the interior like coming together and it's looking very nice this is it's kind of exciting yes I know I'm not putting a headliner in it I'm not putting all of the trims back in they were just falling apart they weren't worth putting back in so that's where we're at with it that's why I did the Raptor liner so it just kind of gave it a you know an updated look it looks a little bit better so yeah headliner would be cool but Raptor liner is cooler it's never gonna drop I can tell you that Alright, I cut all the plastic covers off of these seat belts. You can't see them, they're underneath the seat so you don't see the anchors or anything like that. And also cut out all the holes in the carpet and stuff. And uh, clean these up with brake cleaner, of all things, and wipe down the straps. Made them look a little bit more presentable. So, yeah, there's that. Cleaned that one up too. And uh, got nothing left to do but to throw these seats in. So... This is going to be fun because it is not, it is not fun. It's heavy. It's very heavy. And they need cleaned again. But I'm going to put them in the truck first and then we'll figure out how to clean it. But it needs to kind of go in this end. But I also kind of need to move the truck forward. Quite honestly, I think the blue seatbelts are kind of a vibe in here, man. I'm kind of digging that. I think it looks good. The gray and blue and black, it just kind of goes together. Now, I should have did that silver auto emblem in blue now. But, the seat's in. I remember, it's a little bit of a tight fit. This is, this is nice. But from my seating position, I'm high. No, I'm not. No, I'm not high. Let me let me rephrase that. I'm not high. Okay, I just I sit up high. Okay, you get that. You sit up high in here because of the way I made these seats. But I mean, you got plenty of headroom. But I get clear view at the screen. The only downside is where the steering wheel is. Yeah, my speedometer and my fuel gauge. It's kind of where my speedometer my well if i sit upright i see the speedometer pretty good above the steering wheel really digging this interior now i need to wipe it down the dash i can see a bunch of dust on and stuff and and we're not done with the interior i still want to add a usb charger i have that and that actually reads my battery voltage as well and uh i just you know, there's some things i want to do some trim pieces I gotta do yet. I gotta finish some stuff up. The hood latch, I can't put it on until I put this side piece on. So, yeah, let me wipe everything down and we'll get back in here.
Well, guys, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Like, I I'm thrilled. Now, I did order some more things for this. Uh, I ordered an interior lighting kit, like LED. So, there'll be floor lighting, and I think we're going to do behind-the-seats lighting. Uh, door seal kit, I ordered that. And uh, brand-new door hinges, both sides. Because these, both of them are shot. I mean, the bushings are out, and they're, they're stuck. Yeah. So, brand new door hinges. That's going to fix a lot of issues that was going on with the doors. And, uh, I think next episode, it's... I think we're going to paint the back of the cab. Yeah, I think it's time. I want to see what that paint color looks like. I also need to go over and repaint this uh, door. Unless acetone will take that off which this has been on here for so long i really don't think it's going to happen well it's going to take a lot of elbow grease but yeah acetone actually did eat that off so that's that's good that's kind of uh, that'll be a lot of work next episode to get that off of there i'm gonna have to clean that door seal completely it's worth it and then to sand the whole rest of this to get the back painted i'm excited because i want to see what the color looks like and I'm going to paint it right here like this, underneath the bed. Even though it's dirty. I don't think that dirt's going to come off of there. So Maybe it'll keep the dirt down. It's like a umbrella to protect me from dirt falling. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. It's the back of the cab, so I mean... A decent paint job is going to be better than no paint job. But anyways, I'm whooped. I mean, that didn't seem like a lot of work, but it was, because that seat was a lot of work. <laughs> the seat's so heavy. So, time to shut the work lights off. Tuck the seat 10 in. It's time for bed. Looks even better with them lights off. Man, I just... The gray with the the Raptor liner, I think, looks good. The gray seats and the black carpet, yeah. I, I like it. Which is why I built it that way. So if your mom likes this episode, smash that like button, consider subscribing, drop a comment, let me know what you think, share it with your friends, show your sister. I will see you on the next episode of Rex. of cats here. He's like, put it in my paw and I'll smack it. Laziness. Play. Hey. Oh my god. You get him toys and it doesn't distract him from the fact that they want to sleep. He said, just put it in my paws. I'll, I'll chew on it. I'll play with it then. Is that tasty? It's catnip. He's gnawing it. He's mauling it. A lot. He's an animal. He's an animal. <laughs> Beating him on the forehead. Come on, play. <laughs> it's not about that life. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn paws. Look at them things. <laughs>